Hi everyone! It is me Janelle and welcome to Beauty Trolleys. Guys, if you're wondering where am I right now because of my outfit, diba? Pag winter, I am now here in New York and um, it's early morning na. It's almost 3 in the morning. So, I usually follow Manila time on my last night para hindi ako masyadong na jet lag. And <laughs> it's winter, it's really cold here, but you know, yay, malapit na. A few more days to go and it's Christmas time. So this video is about my health condition. If you would notice in my past video, sometimes I would say I cannot drink um, coffee, I cannot eat chocolates, I cannot even, you know, drink regular or take regular vitamin C. It has to be sodium ascorbate. Because I have symptoms like acid reflux, heartburn, uh, hyperacidity. May mga certain food kasi na 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 to trigger yung uh, you know, your stomach ache ko, ganyan. So, one of my viewers or one of my subscribers actually requested na if I could make a video about my health condition. And his name is Jay Reyes. So, hi Jay! And my apologies, Jay Reyes, kasi it really took me a while to do this video. Kasi I wanted to be true, I wanted real. If I'm gonna do this kind of video, uh, gusto ko yung impart ko sa viewers ko yung would actually help them to recover to be healed from you know this kind of condition so since you know I've been experiencing these symptoms for quite some time and uh, I actually ask one of my doctors because I have two doctors one in Makati Med and one in Cardinal I asked my doctor in Cardinal if I could actually do the gastroscopy because I think I, and I also believe na much better to do that kisa mangula tayo because I was under medication for you know months already tas on and off lang din and gusto ko nang malaman what's really inside my stomach and what's really going on inside my stomach. Bakit ganon? So, yeah. So, I booked myself for, you know, gastroscopy procedure. So, now, I'm gonna show you some videos. Um, ito yung nire-require ng hospital before the procedure and, you know, right after my gastroscopy procedure. Please watch it. Good morning, guys. It's a Saturday morning and I'm on my way to have a RT-PCR test because I'm scheduled for gastroscopy this coming Monday on the 27th and uh, kailangan yun sa hospital. It's SOP. So any kind of procedure na gagawin sa hospital, kailangan you have a negative result of RT-PCR test. So hopefully it's negative so para matuloy na yung gastroscopy ko. Kasi nas postpone na siya the last time. So, Gusto ko na siyang matuloy sa Monday. So, so dito kami nag rt pcr test. It's uh, at gate 4 of Philippine Airlines. The site. There you go. Kuya! rt pcr po! Thank you! Okay, so ito yun. Gate 3 of Philippine Airlines. Dito yung rt pcr center na... na for passengers, for the crew, passengers of Philippine Airlines. Good morning guys. So today na receive ko na <laughs> no yesterday na receive ko na yung RT PCR result ko so it was negative. So today I'm on my way to the hospital to Cardinal Santos because I am scheduled for gastroscopy at 9:30 a.m. today and I should be there earlier 
kagada 9.30 kasi may mga preparations pa na gagawin. And nag-fast na ako for 6 hours and syempre nagugutom na ako. But that's okay cause, you know, kailangan before the procedure and I also have my baon with me. May sandwich ako. So after that, uh, actually hindi ka naman makakakain after the procedure kasi sedated ka So may anesthesia. So pag naka-recover na ako, from the anesthesia. That's the only time I could eat. So, yeah. So, later, I'm gonna... I'll try to film, but no promises kasi syempre, yung bawal yun. So, but... I'm gonna update you later, okay? So guys, I'm done with the gastroscopy. We're going out of Cardinal Santos Hospital. So, yeah. Alright, uh, I just had lunch and after the hospital, I'm going to eat because I haven't eaten the whole day. And yon, sa hospital, it took me like two hours. All in all, na yon, and na yung preparation, the procedure and the recovery time. The procedure itself, it took them 10 to 15 minutes lang. It was very fast. Tsaka you wouldn't feel anything kasi I'm under anesthesia and sedated ako. So, tulog. So, anyway, yung preparation naman, and dun yung you have to sign something, they have to ask you something, and explain to you you know, the procedure and all ganyan. Tapos, um, yung preparation naman sa na ibang gagawin, like, ma, they're gonna put IV on you. Kasi, they call it total anesthesia kasi I asked. Doon daw lahat nilalagay yung gamot. And then, um, nalagyan ka nila ng oxygen. Tapos, uh, sa nose. Tapos, naka-face mask ka pa rin. Nakaganyan. Siyempre, parang ipapasok na yung camera, natatanggalin na yung face mask. And then, they're gonna put this kind of um, machine on you, like andun yung oxygen level mo, blood pressure mo, makikita nila doon, and heart rate mo. So, habang ginagawa yung procedure, nakikita nila doon. Mamomonitor nila. Tapos, before mag-start yung um, gastroscopy, they're gonna, si doctor ko, he sprayed uh, something like um, it's uh, anesthesia rin sa throat ko para hindi ko ma-feel para hindi, ko, hindi ako masaktan kasi nga yung camera dadaan from my mouth going to my stomach so para makita nila yung esophagus mo at yung condition ng stomach mo and then gano lang ganun kabilis and then yung recovery time so habang nagre-recover ka nakakabit pa rin yung machine sa'yo na monitor ka nila and then if you're recovered na tatanggalin nila yon and then you have to wait for 10 to 15 minutes. Huwag ka basta tatayo kasi baka mahilo ka. So, very fast. So, ganun lang. Um, the price, it's roughly 11,000 pesos. And, um, of course, if you have field health, half noon, nabaw nabawas. And yung other half the month, it's going to be shouldered by my company, which I'm very grateful. And, yeah. So, now, I'm here at our clinic. Uh, I need to see the flight surgeon because I need to get some medicines because I need to get some And uh, that same day, I was able to get my gastroscopy report. So it was explained and given to my husband by my doctor. So he explained it Although, when I was in the recovery room, um, may wish na ako nun. So, I was able to talk to my doctor and he somehow explained to me kung ano yung condition ko. But, of course, syempre baka hilo-hilo pa ako nun kasi nasedate, sedated ako and I was under anesthesia during the procedure. So, in explained din niya sa husband ko. So, nung uh, binigay sa akin to ng husband ko, in explained din niya kung anong in-explain ng doctor sa kanya. So, it says here sa gastroscopy report ko, that I do have a NERD, which is non-erosive reflux disease. And I do have bile reflux, erosive gastroscopy, and incompetent pyloric cream. So, 
ito yun. So guys, what is non-erosive reflux disease is actually a type of GERD which the esophagus is unharmed by the stomach acid. So, kailangan din na i-treat kung saan nanggagaling yung stomach acid, bakit siya nag-leak. Kasi, pag pinabayaan natin yun, possible na magka-scar yung esophagus natin. So, you know, I also have a incompetent pyloric ring. Supposedly, yung pyloric ring natin, kailangan naka-closion habang nagda-digest yung food. In my case, nakaangat siya. So, incompetent siya. So, what is pyloric ring? Tinatawag din siyang pyloric sphincter. So, once na kumain na tayo, so yung food from our mouth, bababa siya from our mouth, pag nasa stomach na siya, yung pyloric ring, kailangan niyang mag-close para siyang stopper ng stomach natin. So, kailangan niyang mag-close para habang nagda-digest yung food, so nagda-digest may acid, may bile, hindi siya, hindi lalabas yung acid. So, what happened to me, since partially open or incompetent yung pyloric ring ko, lumalabas ngayon yung acid. So, let me read it ha, para it's claro. Sabi here, when pyloric sphincter or pyloric ring doesn't work properly, bile can make its way up to the digestive tract. The symptoms of bile reflux are very similar to those of acid reflux and include upper abdominal pain and heartburn. So, di ba dun sa impression sa akin, sa aking gastroscopy report, meron akong bile reflux. So, there's another one. I do have a erosive gastropathy. So, meaning, um, my stomach lining is actually inflamed. So, may mga causes yun bakit nai-inflamed. If you do smoke, which I don't smoke naman, if you drink too much alcohol, if you drink too much coffee or you take too much caffeine, if you eat spicy food every day, um, there's another one. It's a very common, which is stress. Kasi pag na-stress tayo, yung parang ang sakit ng chan natin, yun yung kasi nagdi-develop siya ng acid, ng yung, yung chan natin. And then, pag parating nangyayari yun, um, it may lead to erosions, ulcers, and bleeding. Kaya, kailangan gamutin or i-avoid yung certain things or food. So, I was also given a proton pump inhibitor that I have to take for a couple of months. So, while I was under medication, I had to avoid, you know, coffee, chocolates, then stop smoking if you're smoking, then stop alcohol, um no canned goods and avoid citrusy food or citrusy fruits and then avoid stress which is me said it's very hard to think no how could i avoid stress so what i do pag na stress ako if na stress ako sa situation or kung ano man yung king kinaka-stressan ko what i do i take a deep breath and then i count 1 to 10 and then ulitin ko uli siya hanggang sa maging okay na ako. Then it really helps. So, I would suggest na itry niyo yun. For me, it's, it was very effective. And there's another one pa pala, no? If you're on a heavier side, you have to lose weight. And do not forget to exercise at least three times a week. So, manonotice ninyo, no? Lagi sinasabi ng mga doctors yun na make it a habit to exercise at least three times a week. So, kung if you're someone na tamad mag-workout or mag-exercise, it's about time. So, if you're gonna ask me how's my health condition now, I would say na I feel much better now after, you know, taking the proton pump inhibitor and, you know, all the diets. Uh, but I still have to eat healthier food. Yun talaga yung, ano yun, and avoid stress. But I still experience, you know, acid reflux once in a while. But as per my doctor naman, it is normal to experience acid reflux once in a while, especially if you're a female over 40. Yun yun. So may scientific study do doon. And, uh, you know, sometimes I do get heartburn and stomach ache pag nagchichita ko. <laughs> Pag may kinakain ako ng bawal. But at least, you know, controlled na siya. And also, yung doctor ko in Makati Med, he prescribed me a probiotic. It is gut skin. It's like this. Sa 
Mercury drug ko lang siya nabibili. It's actually 49 pesos per tablet. Wala siya sa Watson, wala siya sa ibang pharmacy kasi I tried looking for this eh. So sa Mercury drug ko lang talaga siya nabibili. It's probiotic. So what's probiotic? It is made of live good bacteria. So, di ba nga sabi ko, minsan sinusumpong pa rin ako. Dahil minsan nagchichita ko. So pag naramdaman ko naman na meron na akong sumpong or eto na naman, may acid reflux na naman ako kasi kumain ako ng bawal. So I drink Gaviscon. So, lagi ako may baon nito. And pala ha, if you're suffering from condition that I have, kailangan may lagi kayong dalang gamot. So, anywhere you go. Kasi, you don't know kung kailan siya mag a -attack. So, kailangan always be ready. So, ako, I always bring Gaviscon. I also have the pink ones. Yan. And then, pag hindi talaga kaya ni Gaviscon, meron akong Zanta. So, this one. I bought this in the US. So, Parang we don't have this one in the Philippines anymore, eh. Pero it's a H2 blocker. They call it H2 blocker, right? So, yun. So, lagi ko tong baong dalawa pag umaalis ako. Para at least, you know, I have nothing to worry. Pero of course, avoid pa rin eating the bawal food. So, ako, I would suggest na see your doctor, you know. Huwag na tayong manghula. And, uh, kasi ako, to be honest, I've tried, what do you call it, the vinegar? The apple cider vinegar with the mother. Yung Bragg's na brand. And it didn't work for me. It's actually worse than my condition. I could only speak for myself, ha? So, yun yung naging experience ko sa apple cider vinegar. So, it's always best to see your doctor. I know, misan, nakakatamay pumunta sa doktor, no? Or misan, natatakot lang din tayo kasi baka ano yung madiscover natin. But, you know, after kong magpagastroscopy and nalaman ko kung anong condition ko so i was happy kasi it's just a normal sakit and kayang gamutin and from there hindi namang hula baka you have this baka you have that so o ito yung sakit mo ito yung gagamutin natin so ako naman alam ko na ito yung sakit ko wala akong ganito wala akong ganyan so meron na akong peace of mind yun yung pinaka importante kasi peace of mind di ba nga bawal ang stress so that's about it if you have any questions please leave a comment below I'll try to answer all your questions. And to my subscriber, Jay Reyes, thank you talaga. Thank you for patiently waiting. And if you have anything in mind, guys, if you want me to review some products or just let me know, alright? Just leave a comment below. I do hope that you have learned something today. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Give me that thumbs up. And do not forget to hit that notification bell. Thank you for watching Beauty Trolleys. See you in my next video. Goodbye!